Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Last time we implement a bat monster and a skeleton lord, which is the final boss. And in this video, we create a cutscene manager class so we can add a little boss encounter cutscene. And we also create a large special health bar for the boss so the boss battle looks more epic, hopefully. And maybe you have noticed, I reduced the size of these life and mana icons from 48 pixels to 32 pixels. So even if you acquire more life and mana, it doesn't take much space on the screen. Also, I decided to revise the projectile's damage calculation. Right now, the fireball's attack power stays at 2, so that means if the monster has 2 or higher defense, you cannot give any damage. So I reduce the fireball's attack from 2 to 1, but instead uh, projectile. And so here we are passing the projectile's attack power, so I multiply it by Player that level divided by two. So the higher the level, the stronger it gets. So it's a pretty simple calculation, so feel free to create your own system. Maybe you can add another stats for magic, such as intelligence. So anything is fine. And then, as a little addition to the boss battle, I thought it would be cool if we could display a large boss life bar so not a small one like this so we're gonna display the bar at the bottom of the screen and display the monster name above it so it gives you an impression that this is a special battle so in this entity first we need to differentiate normal monsters and the boss so create a boolean public boolean boss and open the skeleton boss boss equal true entity and draw so we are drawing a life bar here but I realized something if we draw a life bar in this entity's draw method, they will be covered by the darkness filter. Because in our current drawing order, we draw monsters first and uh, environment later. So basically, life bars are not visible in the dark. This doesn't work well, especially when you display this boss life bar because the yeah, bottom of the screen is always dark. So I decided to draw the monster's life and bar in the UI class. UI is the last thing we draw so nothing can override it. And come to think of it, we are drawing the player's life and the mana in this UI class. So drawing monster's life bar also you know kind of makes sense. So, first we create a method public void draw monster life and we're gonna do a little moving so here we're gonna cut this and paste it here and also, uh, where is the play state? So we're gonna call that method from here. Draw monster life. Yeah, but obviously we cannot use it as it is because we are not in the entity anymore. So we need to address these errors. So first create a for loop.
and scan the monster array. Then we check if the slot is null. We're gonna move this inside of this if statement. Also, not only checking this slot is null or not, uh, we want to check if it's inside of the camera because if it's outside of the camera, we don't need to draw it. So, which is uh, this part. And to make it a bit more organized, I think I'm going to create a method to check this. So maybe above this method, public boolean in camera. And boolean in camera false copy this condition here and in camera equal to return in camera so now we don't need this here but instead we just call in camera if in camera equal true and also, I think I'm gonna create methods to get this screen X and Y. So, public int get screen X. I think I could have made this long time ago. Screen X equal, we can just uh, copy this. And the screen y2 y y oops, y world y and world y screen y screen y yep okay and so we don't need this anymore instead we call that method get here too hmm. yeah okay like this so another little optimization I guess and so okay let's go back to this UI and so here at another condition that in camera true and we don't need to check its type anymore because we are only scanning the monster array so we all we already know it's monster and so yeah basically we need to add this monster to this parameter uh, HP bar, okay, need to public. And uh, yeah, mm, okay, I think I'm gonna create a local entity, monster, and get this, and uh, use this instead. Like this. Yeah, it's not really necessary. I do this just so the code becomes a bit shorter and a bit more readable. So 
monster.maxlife this is also monster and this is screen x so monster.get screen x monster.get screen y screen x screen y and this is monster dot monster dot monster dot monster dot and this also needs to be public I think yeah okay and finally at one more condition here uh, here and monster dot boss equal false so this is for you know normal monsters so if the monster is boss else if monster dot boss equal true and then we're gonna draw a large health bar so i think we can copy this and we don't need to set timer so once the boss battle starts it is always displayed so this time the bar length is not tile size but i'm gonna multiply by eight and also so we need to get x and y x equal first get center screen width divided by two minus so it's eight tiles length so subtract four tiles and y Oops. Like uh, tile size times ten. So somewhere around here. So here. So this is x and y. This is bar frame. So x minus one y minus one and uh, not tile size but tile size times eight and plus two and uh, bar height is so maybe times two 20 height is 20 pixels and so this is uh, 22 and finally we're gonna display the both name above this bar so do that set font do that get font uh, derive font font dot I'm gonna use bold and uh, 24 and color And g2 that draw string uh, text is monster dot name and uh, a little bit to the right and uh, a little bit to the top something like this let's check hard oops I died I forgot to activate the goat mode but anyway so that's the boss life bar I think it looks pretty cool okay then let's create a cutscene 